Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm a Blu-ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. Yes, I'm still a Blu-ray. Always have been, always will be. How are you today? How are you? Who are you? Are some of you doubting that you're on a twin flame journey? The doubt's in the air, you know. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of things going and waving and pushing and Maybe you're feeling pushed. Maybe you're feeling pulled. Maybe you're stuck. Are you on a twin flame journey? How do you know? Well, first of all, if you ever in any time felt drawn to this, chances are you are a twin flame. But some of it gets very unexplainable. Why is that? Well, we have some of the answers. Some of the answers have to do with disclosure at the lion's gate, okay? That means some of the usual indicators are off, and it's in several sectors of the world, too. It's not just your own usual indicators. It could be in different aspects, too. Right now, you are in the shadow of the retrograde. This part of this retrograde is going to be a depth and still, it will be a closeness that you won't believe. Why? Because in many ways, what belongs to you has been returned to you. Now, what do you do with it? How do you be who you are? And that's where sometimes the doubt comes in. You might say, well, who am I? I don't know anymore. I don't know. This has been a waste of time. Maybe I've just wasted my time. Not necessarily. I don't know. Everything just seems very superficial. There's levels to things. Well, of course there is. And yet we're breaking through it. And of course, the number one kicker, doubt. Okay. What does doubt do? Okay. Not only does it throw you off, but between you and your true love, it makes everything vague. It's just vague. It's shadowy. It's not clear. It's obscure. It's like you're looking into something and you're saying, what can I perceive? What can I feel? So if you're struggling with this, this is actually not a bad thing because there's a part of you, the angelic part wants to get it moving. You want to break out of this. It's different than being in the doldrums. This is different than depression. This is when you say things like, I don't even know anymore. In fact, I'm feeling pretty fed up right now. Okay. But there is hope. And many people have heard a lot of things. Okay. You're hearing things publicly. You may hear it through your senses. There's remorse, there's promises, there's broken promises. The other side of the union is coming to their senses, but where are they? Okay, because that's the thing that you may not realize is the next step. This has to do with your energy bodies. Okay, that's what it is about. So when you go into these shadows, what to do? What do you do with doubt? How do you get it moving? This is a depth of stuff that is going to be very incredible for a lot of people. And yeah, it's going to question who you are. It's going to make you question a lot of things. And yet, the answers are still with you. Your specific personal answers, okay? Maybe not the answers that work for everybody. You know, it's a lot of fun and games too. Open up a newspaper, read your horoscope, try to figure out how it applies to your life. Try to do that to get your guidance. What if there were a way to get it directly infused to you? Right directly, right into your heart. And furthermore, where it starts setting it up for you. How about that, huh? How about where there's almost no mental engagement whatsoever? And this is what I do with people. I help get things shifted. I help get the things shifted that people call abuse. 
Yeah, people have been abused. That kind of stuff can make people doubt that there is real love. That's where some of the doubt comes from. How can someone actually love me this much? You can take a couple and you can see them. And he says, I know you love me. I can feel that you love me, but I still can't believe it. I just, I don't know why you would even love me. Why? Because he's been so abused, he doesn't even know how to love himself. And she says, but I do love you. Why can't you just believe it? And they struggle with feeling and sensing this, okay? Because there's a depth there of things that have happened in their cosmic lives that they're struggling to get it cleared and removed. They really do love each other. And this is not a superficial love. This is, but it's making him doubt because his doubts are along the lines of, oh, I don't know if I'm up to this. I don't know if I can really have the strength. I mean, look at me. I, I failed my last couple relationships. And she will have doubts. Why is he doubting me? Why is he actually not really understanding how much I do love him that will work through things? And, and then she has doubts. She says, oh my goodness, it's taking me a lot of strength to work through this, okay? What if you have a situation where your other half, you're aware that they like to get messed up because they go ahead and self-sabotage, okay? And how easy is it for her to push him if he's like a dead body? Has anyone ever tried to push a sleeping person when they're laying on the ground, especially an adult? Have you ever tried that? Have you ever tried to push someone who's like sleeping? There they are taking a nap. Maybe you could roll them and roll them and roll them, right? What if they were sleeping in the water? What if they were in a different medium? You could take one magical goddess hand, one magical goddess finger and propel them into the direction they need to go. How do you do that? I have the way of teaching you how to do that. That's how. It's not with the mind either. It has to be with your energetic bodies. So why? Because you are about to become very productive in your twin flame union. This is about new. This is about your mission. This is about the very first part of your mission putting yourselves together, being productive members of society, being the people that are reliable, that are accountable, that are responsible, being the people that are different than maybe your grandparents and parents and being a divine parent, being a productive angel, okay? Some of you have heard this about yourself and you say, I'm not sure if I'm an angel. Okay, how do you know? Sometimes you get very emotional about some things and then maybe you get very stubborn and stuck and you and you obstinate, obstinate and you refuse because you say that's a waste of time or something's beginning to feel like a waste of time. Now we've had some very large scale things begin to take place here to remove some of these things because it can no longer keep people stuck. What is your part in that? How do you be productive in a way that your love wants to express itself because that's really what mission is. How is your love expressing itself in the world? Because you're still gonna live here. You're still gonna pay bills. You're still gonna have responsibilities. How? Also, how do you gracefully discard all of your non-essentials, okay? What do you do with dead weight? Are you being pushed? in certain things. Are you projecting angers or are people projecting their anger onto you? I've had that happen to me. It's not fun when people project their anger on. How are you clinging to the past? And is that an essential part of your future? Because closure is happening. That's really throwing people off, okay? We don't like being in the shadow, okay? It's kind of murky. We can't always see everything clearly. We're heading into some of this 
new moon and we're going to feel some of this. Now, if you felt some of the lunar energy at the last full moon, you're going to find that this next moon phase is really something. How can I help you with this? Several ways, okay? First of all, this is a time for actually getting your causal body going. Okay, your causal body is your manifester. So if you've wondered why the law of attraction seems to not work for twin flames sometimes, try this causal body session. Your causal body is how you cause things to happen. It is not cause and effect. It is not dualistic. It operates on you from a different level. Get some energy body healing and reconnecting with me. I do this over the internet. And I do this live and in person, and I'm doing it in my class in California. I am teaching some of you how to do this and how to make yourself effective for your physical union, okay? Because union is much more than people are portraying out there, okay? We still haven't gotten all the good stuff. And some of you, you're like looking in through the window and going like, why are those people in union and I'm not? I, you know, there's reasons for it. Come and get it shifted for yourself because now we're talking quantum shifts here, okay? We're not talking years and years and years of dealing with the abuse through other forms of getting rid of it. We're talking about magically, miraculously getting rid of it from a ninth dimensional level, which is where most of this stuff has happened. That's what makes me, and I say this in all honesty, this may sound like arrogance, but it took me quite a while to forge my brand new connections to the higher dimensions. Yes, it did. And some of you are just starting with this, but I am a guide. I am a teacher. And I want you to. What kind of world would this be if we see a lot of people physically together who just love each other? Okay, like, let's keep this simple because it's not about numbers and ancient languages. It's about love. It's really about love. It's about what these two desire, okay, that they really do want to be together, but they're afraid they'll mess it up, okay, or they're afraid that the same things from the past will happen. They're afraid of all the shadowy stuff that is still murky within them because why? Because those things really have happened, okay? doesn't matter what people say about, oh, your pain, you know, pain is just a fabrication of your mind. No, it's real. It really has happened to your energy bodies, okay? There is a, such a thing as emotional pain, spiritual pain, just as much as there has been emotional abuse, emotional uh solitude where you're so lonely you don't have anyone to help you and you can't feel and there's no one around nurturing you there is such a thing as spiritual abuse mental abuse so yeah there's real pain okay i am a master at helping to get this shifted for people you still have to do the work okay and so when people say like well I'll just keep doing the work but you know, but, okay, stop yourself with the buts right there. No buts about it, okay? Find out what else it takes because it will only serve you well and benefit you, okay? This is the next level of healing, ladies and gentlemen, and this is something that in the future will actually be able to help people not have to go to the doctor for anything other than their checkups, okay? I am seeing the future and I'm seeing where this is going and I'm teaching people. Why? Because this is something that is bridging. You are the living bridges. You are the living bridges between this level and the fifth dimension. You are the living, loving, beautiful lovers that are the living bridges. Now, some of the other things that I want to tell you about, I have a live webinar where I do teach the channel opening exercises, 
and we do lucid twin flame meditations that are bringing results for people. This one is about twin flame wealth, abundance, and balance. Yesterday's subject was about the push, this push, like are you being held in place? Is something pushing you? What is that all about? What is it with some of this stuff? Do you feel like things are a waste of time? That's what we're covering in depth, in there, and the movement to get it moving. If you join now, I'm still running it until October 14th. And you will be caught up by me sending you the recordings if you join. You don't have to participate, but you can because I set it up for you to use your webcam, use your microphone. It's a closed, protected class. It's interactive if you want it to be. You get to hear people, you hear their experiences because people do share. People have insights. Some people have gotten to know each other. It's intended as support. It's very different than a social media support group or a social media group where, you know, you there might be some random people. This is a class with learning and a length of time where you're getting to know some people and we're all good people. We're all good people. Okay. We just, we have a few things that we're polishing up, right? We're much better now. Can't tell by looking at us. Although you can. Can you tell by looking at any one of the high level experiences that they've had? You can't because a lot of people aren't talking about it publicly so much. Next year they will. And the year after that. So this is gonna keep growing and growing, okay? Nothing is over. You're not finished. Please stop doubting who you are. Once you started on this journey, there is no going back. Some of you might not like to hear this. How do you cut out the things that are giving you a pain, quite frankly? Come and see me, okay? This is how I help. I help with a causal body session. I will be live in California. I have the online webinar, which you can reach anywhere in the world. And I do energy body healing and reconnecting live and over the internet. Okay. Use my coupon, fall in love for 20% off. And I hope to see you. I hope that you'll join. It's time to move this beyond just, you know, getting a smattering of information. By the way, check out my new website www.twinflamesmerge.com. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. Email me and let me know if you need help selecting which webinar to get. I have one called How the Runner Will Return New Beginnings. How the Runner Will Return New Beginnings, which will be in the link below. So all the links are below in the description. I hope that you have a wonderful week. Please reach out for some uh, really quantum help. Quantum help is available. You know how I do that? I do it from up here, okay? You start talking and I start feeling and we start getting it moving, okay? That might sound very academic. It did not take me one day to do this, okay? I have put in my time and I have some very high level connections. The rod and staff people are the ones who have the dimensional connections. The people who are not rod and staff unions, you've, you are here bringing what you're bringing to the table from your cosmic origins. Everybody is important. This is the importance of what I'm able to do with people so that you can do what you need to do. You know, it's a bit like, Opening the doors, someone opens the doors, someone lays the foundation, someone does the electrical. I used this example before, but only you are here to be in love, okay? You're here for a passionate, romantic, intimate, lover relationship with someone who loves you, doesn't leave, and doesn't want to leave. Okay, that's, that's really the key. I never really wanted to leave, but I just, I don't know. I, I just really am not sure what's expected of me. 
you take it step by step, okay? Right now, I'm going to quote this Jason Mraz song that I heard when I was uh, driving back from my fitness center. So I drew a new face and I laughed. Okay, because it starts out saying, you know, I check in my look in the mirror. So I drew a new face and I laughed. I guess what I'm saying is there's no better reason to rid yourself of. Now his lyric says vanity. I'm going to say entities. To rid yourself of vanities and just go with the seasons. Okay, that's what you're doing right now. Come, use my coupon, fall in love. Rid yourself of some entities and go with the season. There you go. So thanks so much for watching. Um, those lyrics belong to Jason Mraz. All credit to him. And thank you so much for listening. I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye now.